So, when you think of intelligence, you normally think of the one intelligence that most people refer to, and that is intellectual intelligence. And Howard Gardner says there are actually multiple types of intelligence, and I'm going to go through them with this video. Now, the first is called logical mathematical intelligence, and this is basically what you think of when you think of intellectual intelligence. This would be stuff like logic, or、um, if you're good at taking tests, you will probably have pretty high logical mathematical intelligence. Um, this also has to do a lot with critical thinking and making and reading graphs, as well as organization. If you like to organize your stuff and keep it very organized and are good at organizing it, then you probably have very high logical mathematical intelligence. Now, the second one is called verbal linguistic. And if you have high verbal linguistic intelligence, you are probably good at saying that word. You are good at poems, you are good at rhyming words, finding words that rhyme, you are good at reading and writing. And you're good at learning other languages. You learn them pretty quickly compared to other people. And you're probably great at turning a little tiny story into a huge, fascinating story that can enthrall an entire room. The third is interpersonal. An interpersonal intelligence would be like understanding other people's emotions, understanding what the social etiquette and norms are of the situation. You have to be able to be good at reception to other people's moods and what motivates them. If you are a business administrator and you're good at motivating someone, you probably have pretty high interpersonal intelligence. If you're a good leader or just a manager in general, and you can coordinate work with other people, you are probably really intelligent in this interpersonal field. The fourth is body kinesthetic, which means you are good at handling and maneuvering your own body. You can handle objects skillfully and. Basically, move them around however you want them to, as well as your body. People that are very intelligent in the body kinesthetic field are dancers, actors, soldiers, and even many sports athletes. The fifth is musical intelligence, and this is, and this is associated with rhythmic and harmonic music. Being able to interpret sounds, rhythms, and tones and pitches, and being able to understand them on a level that most people can't understand. If you're good at this, you can probably compose or at least play an instrument. The next is visual spatial, and this is like basically how well can you visualize something in your mind's eye? How well can you think of something in your mind? And another example of this would be can, how well can you get through a maze? Can you see it in your mind's eye where you're at in the maze or a cornfield? And Gardner went so far as to say that this could even be used as to judging distances or how well can you read a map? And、the next type of intelligence is called intrapersonal intelligence, and this is different from interpersonal intelligence. Intrapersonal intelligence is more about how you understand yourself. Are you self-aware? Do you know what feelings you are feeling? What emotions go through your mind when you are in certain situations? How well can you control your thoughts and actions and feelings in general? Do you know your strengths and weaknesses? And the last, which came out a couple years after. Howard Gardner came out with his multiple intelligences theory. is called natural intelligence, naturalistic intelligence, and this has to do with being able to recognize stuff in the real world. Basically, flowers and trees and anything that's living. Hunters and fishermen are pretty intelligent in the naturalistic field. So are chefs and botanists that can grow plants. And basically, anyone that is learned in any biological science is pretty intelligent in the naturalistic field. 